to the vlog and happy birthday if today's your birthday. What a lovely start to the day it was. Connor and I just went down on the beach and drank our coffee there and just like relaxed and chatted. It was really good. And then I've just been back here working for the past little while. Really nothing too special going on here. Right now I'm going to work on some editing. I have a couple of other things I need to take care of today, but not too bad, thankfully. So just going to power through and try to wrap up as early as possible, which I guess is always the goal. <laughs> it's Tuesday by the way, but Monday for you, I think. So happy Monday. I hope your week is off to a great start. You know what I haven't done in a little while? I haven't asked you guys on a Monday what your goal for the week is. So let me know. My goal for this week is to... Uh, get some more active activities in this week, I think. Um, I'm thinking like yoga one day. I want to go for a bike ride maybe today, this afternoon. I think that would be nice. And then, oh, and maybe a round of tennis because Connor and I are going to try to get into tennis together. So um, that's sort of my goal just to get some more active activities back in because I have been slacking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to dive into some work. Okay, taking a break from editing to work on lunch a little bit here. This lighting looks weird, doesn't it? Let's try again. Better, I think. <laughs> um, so I'm just heating up some leftover Chinese food that Connor and I have from this past weekend. So I put um, the chicken and the cauliflower in the air fryer. To sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I'm going to throw like the leftover dumplings and stuff just in the toaster oven. I would put them in the air fryer too, but I just don't feel like waiting to air fry two different things. So one's gonna go in the toaster, one's gonna go in the air fryer and that will be fine. I have some noodles to heat up here as well as rice. So it should be very good. Check in on these guys. Ooh, they're looking pretty good. I think just maybe a minute longer. And what about you, huh? But yeah, nice and toasty. Okay, got our noodles and rice going. It's gonna be good. All right, here we are. We have, um, I think this is just one piece of orange chicken, some of the cauliflower. It's like, I can't remember. I can't even remember what we ordered. This is all from Little Fatty, by the way, which is so good if you live in LA. This is like a noodle dish. Again, I just really can't remember what we ordered. And then some random dumplings. And this is the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's, which is so good. Lunch was delicious, but man, am I full. Oh, so I'm about to get back to work, but really quickly, I want to, today's my dad's birthday, but my dad is a twin sister. So that means that there's double the birthdays today, so. I called my dad a little bit earlier and then we're FaceTiming later to do presents with him, but figured really quickly I would call my Aunt Monique and wish her a happy birthday as well. Hello. Hello, happy birthday. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> How's your day going? <laughs> going great. Yeah, well I know you guys only drink wine once a year, so <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you're at a winery. Right. Time is a weird concept. We can't get into yes. it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Send my love and have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. There you go. A nice birthday call. And now, uh, back to work for me. My hair is looking <laughs> crazy. Wow. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, I just feel like having a little after lunch treat so i'm going to have some of my sparkling watermelon juice from trader joe's i love this stuff it's so good this stuff is the absolute bomb <laughs> with my dad which was really nice we got him me and my mom split getting him the always pan from our place because connor and i love ours and um yeah i just thought that he would really like that so that was great he got some other little goodies too and uh, now i'm going to unbox some stuff and then i just threw on a little bit of makeup because i want to film some try-ons and stuff like that so i'll do try-ons of these pieces as well and uh yeah this day is really getting away from me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm tired and uh, 
yeah, it's it's been a lot. I don't know why. I feel like I'm just like not accomplishing stuff even though I've been like working pretty good. So this is a box from Waif. I have definitely hauled things from them before. Um, usually like seasonally they send stuff or send like a gifting list. So I just picked up two things. Okay, let's see. I think these are the pants. Yeah. They look long. Their stuff is sometimes like a little hit or miss with fitting me, I have to say. But they're like this, um, I guess sort of, not a suede, like pleather, pleather material. Stretchy in the back, which is nice. And then just like some seams down, sort of wide leg, super high waisted. But these are freaking huge on me. So gonna have to get these tailored, I think. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then the other thing I got was this blazer. Um, just a big oversized blazer, which I thought would be fun to style for some fall fashion. Classic little print here, nice and neutral, a little oversized. Um, this is gonna be so cute, really easy to style. I'm excited for that. And there you have it. I'm going to go film some stuff now. I still have so much on my to-do list. I'm tired. <laughs> really tired okay here is the waif blazer i was just filming the try on haul from my last vlog if you can't tell <laughs> but i had this outfit on and i was like oh i bet this blazer would go really well it sort of has like little um red details in it or like orangey details so perfect mix with something like this and this is so cute i'm a big fan of this blazer sort of oversized i just really like it i think this is a cool piece and here are the pants obviously they are huge on me this is a size extra small you guys their sizing is just like way off, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, but I actually really like these. I was surprised they fit around the waist really well, so that's great. Um, I think in the back, like I wish this, like this should, I wish it was slightly less baggy here. Um, like I wish it was more like a little bit, but um, maybe my tailor can do that. And then obviously they are majorly long on me. Like, hello. <laughs> so again, need to get those fixed. But I actually like these a lot better than I thought I would when they first came out of the box. So I'm excited to get these fixed up so I can actually wear them. Alrighty, it's 5.30 here now and I probably have an hour-ish of work left. It's not too bad, but not great. <laughs> I'm really tired. I feel like I just, for some reason this afternoon I got in a really off mood. I don't really know why. I just, I'm just not having like a, a good afternoon. Just in a bad mood, feeling overwhelmed. There's too much to do. <sighs> My neighbors are making a ton of noise as always. <laughs> it just is feeling like a lot. I don't know. I just I'm not feeling right. I also just woke up. Whoa, it's getting darker in here. Whoa, really darker. I also just woke up missing Tara today, honestly. So I put her sweater on like she's my boyfriend or something. We're in a long distance relationship. We are, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I stole this sweater from her while she was here. So sorry, Tara. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It just sucks. Like I feel like I got sort of used to her being here for two weeks and uh, there's just no one else like her, you know? Nothing else like our friendship. Makes me sad that we don't get to be together all the time anymore, but you know, so it goes, such is life. Camera out of space, I feel like that was the universe's way of telling me to stop being such a mope and get over myself. <laughs> so I'm going to, actually I'm gonna see if Connor wants to sit outside while we finish work. Uh, and I really do wanna go on a bike ride. So we'll see how that goes. Constant noises. Look this little silly cat. Huh? Good girl. <laughs> 6.25 and I'm just wrapping up work now. Same with Connor. I did not make it through my to-do list, but I'm, my brain has just stopped working. So <laughs> anything I was doing was just like taking me so much longer because I was just getting frustrated and just like not taking my time and actually doing it correctly. So it had reached that point. It was time to call it. And now Connor and I are actually going to go on a little bike ride. We're going to just try to find some lift bikes and use those and go for a bike ride to wrap up the day here before we come back and make some yummy food. I do not know what kind of vlogging I'm really gonna be able to do. I'm not gonna bring my camera, I'll bring my phone, but I'm gonna be riding a bike, so. Right? Probably not much vlogging happening. <laughs> Should I bring a bag or something for us to put our stuff in? Like what kind of stuff? I don't know, just our phone. I guess I could just stay in. Yeah, I was just gonna put that like in my little bag. You could put your phone in there too. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
halfway done with our bike ride, which has been very successful so far. It was a beautiful ride, very nice, and um, the bike path happens to end at the whaler. So, so we have to stop it for a drink. I just got a little glass of wine, calling it out a margarita. Cheers. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I agree. Okay, check it out. Here's our bikes. It's pretty cool. There's like a bike lock on it and everything very convenient. Okay, we are back and dinner is served. I am having Connor try my little makeshift sushi that I made while he was gone. Made some dumplings to go with it. We have our rice, our seaweed. I honestly still feel bad calling any of this sushi because it's really not. <laughs> but uh, It's got all the ingredients and I yeah. think this is going to be fun. It's so fun and you it's it surprisingly like delicious. Yeah, I'm it's sure so it's going to be great. Yeah, Whether or not sure. it's professionally rolled. Yeah, it's different. just not really sushi, but you know, it's freaking amazing. So, And we're going to watch the season finale of Dave season two and less into the season overall it's definitely like very yeah. i think a real take on becoming celebrity and gaining fame yeah and all of that i think it's a necessary part of the yeah. show that will hopefully lead to an even better season three i totally agree i think because i do like get where he's coming from it just hasn't been funny deep. yeah exactly it's which is what i'm it's really real, watching for i think i exactly i think we're gonna progress into a nice trajectory yeah but even when you think about the end of season one it got sort of a little less funny but it was still like hitting funny notes but you're it right, was, it was a yeah. little more heartfelt yeah it was just getting more serious and more like this is what it's like to be in the industry you're yeah. gonna like you know give up relationships and you're gonna like sacrifice things for success and all of this you know and so I get, I get it. And and the season Still has been it. picking up very slowly, yeah, a little bit. Like yeah. I like the last episode more. Me too. That was definitely Rick Rubin. That and the um, Kareem Abdul Jabbar episode oh my God. was my two favorites. The favorite Kareem so one far. was very funny. Actually. So funny. Yeah, that one is. Uh... <laughs> it was good. So yeah, we'll report back about what we think about this last episode. Molly Cat, what are you up to? Oh, you're getting into the box. Okay, have fun. We love you. It's the next day and I'm just popping in to end the vlog, but I know that I told you guys that I would report back on the Dave episode, so um, wanted to sort of wrap up with that. And actually this last episode was the best episode of the whole season. Um, I'm really hoping that it's leading to just Dave hopefully being a little better um, because as we said, this season he just has sort of been the worst. <laughs> and to be honest, it's been like a real look into like what becoming famous does to people, which is really interesting. It just is not funny necessarily. <laughs> like the first season made me laugh so hard. I loved it. Uh, this season a little less, but I actually still really enjoyed it. And as I said, this last episode honestly made sitting through that entire season so worth it because just wrapped up things in such a good way. Oh, it was so good. It was such a great ending. So anyway, that's it for me and Molly Cat. Good girl. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you on Wednesday. Say goodbye, Millie Cat. Goodbye.